Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about how to install uh, ENSP Huawei software, which is the uh, simulation software in Windows. So uh, first of all, uh, your Windows specification should be uh, good. So let's see our Windows specifications. So go in performance tab and uh, your memory. This is the memory uh, should be uh, 8 GB RAM. Uh, minimum this is the minimum requirement here that you should be minimum 8 gb ram uh, ram and your rom should be ssd of uh, uh, 256 minimum that is the minimum requirement and the third thing is your virtualization the virtualization of pc should be enabled so you can see here go in cpu and here the virtualization and enable your pc is virtual virtualization should be enabled though these are the three things uh, uh, you have to remember before installing the uh, ENSP okay let's go toward uh, installing the ENSP and uh, now uh, I will give you this link so where, yeah, where you can uh, download ENSP software so this is a complete software I have uploaded in mega upload so you can download I will provide you this link so uh, here the some important file are the uh, virtual box you have to download virtual box and uh, ENSP setup and a win cap that support the wireshark and the wireshark himself to capture the data packet so this uh, below four files are important files and other are optional files so you can download and import this in uh, uh, your ensp software so suppose this is the firewall uh, file so if you want to run the firewall in your in ensp so you can download this file and import in uh, ensp let's go toward the uh, installation uh, i have already downloaded this uh, files uh, so you can see here uh, first of all uh, we uh, install the virtual box so you can see here virtual box just go and simply install it in your pc so after some time it will be so just go it's a very simple to install yes it takes only a uh, one to two minute not minutes it's one minute okay it's complete now we install uh, y shark if you want to install Wireshark, so you can install, but it's not necessary to install Wireshark. But it is good practice to uh, capture data packets. So Wireshark is going to be installed. Uh, it takes one to two minutes. So for Wireshark, it's NP cap is important. It automatically import NP cap and install it. Win cap, NP cap. So these all are the uh, supporting of uh, Wireshark. So it automatically uh, import and install. So it takes them some time to install. Just wait for some seconds. Yes, it's done. Finish. So you can see here Wireshark has been installed almost. After installing Wireshark, uh, we install our uh, ENSP. So you can see here, I have already installed our virtual box and now I have installed the Wireshark. So Wireshark had been installed. So this is our virtual box. And now we go here in setup and install uh, ENSP. So you can see here ENSP. Just double click or run in an as administrator. So next accept the agreement yes it's also uh, take one to two minute minimum so just wait for some seconds uh, and uh, it setup is going to be installed So I have tell you the some specification to install first one is the good RAM and good ROM and your virtualization should be enabled. So these are the uh, specification to install because uh, ENSP is a very heavy software about uh, 7 to 8 GB software. So uh, its virtualization and virtual box is necessary and virtual box should be compatible to 
ENSP setup. So you can see here, this is the setup SPC 100. So you also see the setup 500. So this is 100. Uh, SPC 100 setup and the virtual uh, sorry virtual box that is compatible to this 100 is 5.2.44 5.2.42 is also compatible virtual box to this uh, SPC 100 software but uh, 5.2.44 is also compatible uh, to this so every virtual box is not compatible to uh, ENSP setup so this is remember this version of uh, a virtual box that is compatible and the win cap is 413 and the Wireshark is 3.2.5 so these are the compatible files to each other so that's why it is easy installed in your system and uh, uh, will not do any problem so we go back and we can see you can see here so our ENSP setup has been installed we just go and run this setup so it has automatically will be start so after installing it will open and just go here in new so you can uh, import before uh, uh, running any topology just go here in menu tool and in here in register device so all click all boxes and register this so after installing fail to okay just leave leave register again okay we just open it again you can see here sorry just go here tools register device and select AR AR is router AC AP AD and SAP okay just leave it so go in new topology just import a router and start this router after some time the router will be start we will wait for some uh, seconds so you can see here device has been started after some time it will be fully ready to for the configuration so I'll wait for some second so I pick the router AR uh, triple two zero so it will after some time it will be running so just wait for uh, some time so you can see here the router has been started so you can start your configuration now system view and display current configuration so this is the new router so there is no any current configuration so uh, in the same way you can also uh, run this is the uh, router the core uh, switch core switch this is the access switch s3700 is the access switch and uh, s57 is a core switch so you can run both after some time the board will be started so you can see ls1 is a core router switch and this is the access switch so we can also uh, import uh, pick a ac ac 6650 this is the latest version so just start it so let's see our uh, switch has been started so you can see here switch has been started let's go to other switch so this switch also start so our ac will be start after some time uh, so if you want to use a, a firewall so just pick a firewall here and start it so it will uh, uh, it will tell you that import some packages file so I that, that I have tell you that uh, this is the optional file so if you want to install use a uh, firewall so you can import this file so this is the firewall uh, file uh, virtual disk image file so this is the image file of firewall just go and import that email image file here in so just go here in optional 600 6000 v and just select this usd image file and import so after importing this file will be copied in this uh, 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 firewall so the file has been imported just start now the firewall so your firewall will be started so let's see our ac is start or not it is still running so just wait for some time our ac also work and now we go to see our firewall so the uh, default password of a firewall is admin this is the username username i will also give this username and password in description in any case if it is wrong password would be admin123 so this is the 
username and password of firewall default username and password of firewall so you can see here our AC has been started so you can uh, do the configuration of AC display current configuration of AC so you can see here our AC has been started now we wait for a firewall to start and then end up our video hope you like the video and if you uh, find this content helpful uh, please subscribe and uh, pro promote so uh, we will wait for some seconds so this is the heavy this firewall has been started now it will ask password username and password from us so you can see here username is admin as i told you and the password name admin 123 so sorry uh, so the password is uh, admin and admin at the rate one two three so i forgot at the rate sign so this is at the rate one two three so just go here write admin and uh, admin capital a with capital a and one two three so you it will ask to change the password so yes yes and uh, uh, just uh, once type the old password admin at the rate one two three and then select your own password like admin that admin admin uh, three two one and admin 321 so i just give my own password so just type old password admin at the rate 123 and admin 321 and admin 321 so it has been changed so just uh, go in the uh, system view and then uh, start your configuration display current configuration so this is how uh, we can use a uh, firewall and so this is the password of firewall i will give in description so hope you like the video so uh, thank you very much